Hey guys, um, I finally sat down and did the Know Your Stitcher tag, um, um, or rather Know Your Needle Worker tag. And one thing that I left out, and I forgot to tell you guys, um, I had mentioned that I was going to explain the Young 40 Mom. Um, and I meant to do that, and I thought since we're doing the New Year, Know Your Needle Worker, this would be the perfect opportunity to do that. So, okay. If you've watched my other videos, which I hope you have, um, I mentioned my age in a couple of them. And if you've watched Maddie's videos, or Matson's videos, uh, again, she tells her age, so you might have put two and two together. So, I was young when I had her. Actually, that's my, my uh, ex-husband's last name is Young. Um, 40. I almost, uh, I had Maddie right before my 40th birthday, um, just shy, and I became a mom. So, young 40 mom. She makes me feel young. I was almost 40 and I became a mom. So that's where young 40 mom comes from. But I hope I'm not too boring when you watch this. Um, I, I thought about some things after I got off camera and um, I didn't want to make it any more extensive than I thought I had. Um, I would have up already uploaded it, but I <laughs> went through the laptop and decided that I was going to try to restore it. I thought I'd lost everything that was already on there, and when I went back to look, I found it. It was in a hidden folder. It didn't delete everything, thank goodness. So, yeah. Oh, I'm in the, I'm in the bathroom. I'm sorry. I'm in the bathroom. Hey! Oh, there we go. There's some more of my Garfields. Um, <laughs> I'm going to throw some Garfield pictures at the end because I told you guys that I, I collect Garfields. I don't want you seeing all my nasty stuff. Oh, my gosh. All right. <gasps> Peace out. Hey guys, Young 40 Mom here. Um, I guess it's time for me to get in on the No You Don't Need a Worker tag. <clears throat> Can't talk. Tired. Um, so I printed out a copy of uh, the list that Whimsy Daisical had at the bottom of her um, her tag that she was doing, getting No Your Needle Worker. Um, there are 10 questions on here. Um, as well as some people, she said if you wanted to make it your own, make it your own ad. Um, and that was, uh, again, Whimsy Daisical, Nicole, and she said her friends call her Nikki. So thank you for uh, putting that out there, Nikki. Uh, okay, so let's get started. Number one, where do you live? Um, I live in a, a little town called Cleveland. It's in Tennessee. It's in between... Um, I'm about 60 miles south of Knoxville and 35 miles north of Chattanooga. So somewhere uh, made in between Chattanooga and Knoxville. Um, but my heart is in Washington State. Um, I just absolutely loved it. My ex-husband and I um, got to live there for two years during um, his time in the service and he was stationed at Fort Lewis and uh, got to spend some time with my family up there because that's where my dad's side of the family lives. Uh, what's left of them. Um, I do have uh, some newer cousins that uh, my uncle, my dad's little brother, who's only eight years older than me, it's kind of funny, um, he um, is a brigadier general, I believe, in the Air Force. Um, he was stationed in Kuwait for a little while now, but I think they're down in uh, uh, Florida now. So, uh, hi guys. I don't know if you see my videos, but hi. Anyway. Okay, number two. Uh, what do you do for a living? I have one of the best jobs in the world. Um, or at least I think I do. What I do for a living is I work for a company that sells uh, toys and games online. Um, we are a number one featured seller on Amazon. What I do is um, usually... Uh, look for new companies for us to sign with or order from um, and research all the toys and games and then when they come in um, if we decide to order from them excuse me then I get to play with them and um, I measure them, weigh them, write up the descriptions and they go through a checking process, a Q&A process and uh, yeah so that's kind of fun to see the stuff that that I've done to go up there um, that's that's one of the, the things that I do at my job that I really love it because it's really cute because my daughter goes, Mommy, Mommy, guess what? Santa Claus went to your office and bought all the stuff I wanted. So anyway, <laughs> so that's what I do. It's a really a lot of fun. Um, 
Yeah, it's uh, Art Clem Enterprises. We have a Facebook page, uh, World at Play Games. Um, if you want to check it out, I'll put the link below. Um, we really don't do too much with the Facebook page. I'm trying to work on that, but um, it's time permitted. Um, we're getting geared up for our busy season. Okay. Uh, number three, do you have any children? Yes, you guys have seen her. That's Matt's and my pride and joy. She was my 40th birthday present. I'm going to get choked up here. Uh, could not have children with my first husband. But the second one, oh yeah. Um, I had uh, uh, gotten pregnant with twins. And God said it wasn't time. Uh, I had a miscarriage after seven weeks. That's when I found out that there was twins. And um, three months later, I was pregnant with Maddie. So, okay, yeah, I'm really excited. She's just everything to me, the love of my life. Uh, do you have any pets? Yes, you guys have seen her too. That is Ellie, Ellie Cat. We call her Ellie Belly. Um, she's the only one we have right now. Uh, we lost two last year. We had three. Um, Ellie is it right now, but don't tell Matson. But I'm thinking about getting another kitten. I'm not sure yet. Uh, oh, oh, and we do have an albino catfish. And surprisingly, he is two years old now. He may be older. I'm thinking he's at least two, because Ellie's three. So we've had him for about two or three years. And he's only about that big, but he was about half that size when we got him. But yeah, he's, he's pink. He's an albino catfish. Yeah, we do have him. Um, what are your other hobbies besides stitching? Okay, uh, well, you guys know I, um, I crochet. Um, just picked up knitting. I'm going to do my knitting on some whips. I, I don't knit much, um, only because I get bored with it too easily, and I get frustrated because especially if I drop a stitch, I, no, no, oh, she's trying to claw me. She, she's trying to understand what I'm doing. I think, no, no. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, um, uh, knitting, uh, I don't really call that part of my hobby. Okay, so I cross stitch, I crochet. Um, I like to do recycling. I'm working with the Plarn. Um, I'm doing some things with some old magazines. Um, I love to make homemade envelopes. I do that. I haven't really done anything with them. I have a stack like this big in a box that I haven't done anything with. But um, I like to do that. Um, I, I collect Garfield. Um, one of these days I'm going to... Um, I, I may put it at the end of this video and give you a tour of my bedroom. Um, there's little various Garfields in here. Um, on the wall. I'll take some snapshots and um, include it in the end of this uh, video. But uh, So I collect Garfield, um, I cross stitch, I crochet, and I upcycle. So I think that's pretty much Oh, and I love to cook. I, I started my own cookbook years ago, but I never finished it. Okay, now she's on my feet. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your favorite movie? Oh, that's really hard. I have so many. Um, there are several that I can quote. Um, Jaws, I think. Jaws, I think, would be number one. I love Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, there's a vast variety of movies that I could sit and watch. Um, I like them all. There, there's, there's quite a few um, that I really like and enjoy. But, um, well, let's say Jaws. Jaws says my my favorite all-time movie. Um, it reminds me of, of my childhood and my dad and because um, my dad was uh, we lost him in 2001 December but he, he if you guys met my dad you would have loved him. He is the cross between Steve Martin, Chevy Chase and Richard Dreyfuss to me. I mean just the humor and the just he was just a an amazing father, an amazing man. Um, anyway, so Jaws, yeah, holds holds true to my heart. And it was the first movie I ever saw at a drive-in, which is another reason why I think it yeah, has some special meaning for me. Um, what is your favorite TV show? Oh, oh. Um, my all-time favorites are, I have several. Um, I have all the DVDs for um, Charmed. Um, Sopranos, um, Nip Tuck, um, King of Queens, Roseanne, uh, but I always fall back, like if I'm not watching YouTubers, 
uh, when I'm doing my stitching, I always have something playing in the background. It's usually Charmed or something that I've watched before. Um, currently, um, I, I love uh, The Walking Dead. Um, I didn't think I would get into that because I'm not the kind on into the whole zombie thing. But to me, it's more of a moral, um, moral questions and standpoints. The type of, like, what would you do if you were in this situation? What if we came to this point? Maybe not necessarily zombies, um, but the apocalypse. Or, um, I don't know, just uh, the world came to an end. What would you do in to survive in certain situations because the end of time is coming it's going to happen eventually so anyway okay uh, da, 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 da. oh and um game of thrones yes i had my cable cut off uh i want to say like six months ago because i do everything on the internet anyway so kind of missing the game of thrones i missed last season but um i really really got into that i didn't think i would but i started watching it um on demand and caught up when you watch back to back to back you seem to you're going to do one of two things you're either going to get really really bored with it or you're going to get hooked uh once upon a time it's another one Ugh, i'm really enjoying how they're melding the characters in together never would have put some of these together but i'm really enjoying once upon a time okay um what is your favorite book i have to say my favorite book i'm a stephen king collector um or was i haven't done collected anything in a while uh, I never really read much as a kid because my mother always said, go read a book, go read a book. And when she would tell me to go do something, I didn't want to do it. So when I was 16, I picked up Pet Cemetery. Stephen King said he would never make a movie out of it, and I I'm, I'm, I'm understand why. Um, I've read it maybe four or five times, and that's what got me hooked on his writing. So I started collecting his books. Um, I have uh, 26 or 27 uh, in a collection that started in the late 80s, early 90s. They are red hardback books with a gold signature and gold trim around the edges of them. Um, I may show you some of those um, later in this video or maybe um, take a picture of it so this video won't be so long. I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. But Stephen King uh, was my all-time favorite. I don't do much reading now because, like some of you know, if you have a choice between stitching and reading, um, I'm pretty much... I'm pretty much stitching, um, or I've got some type of needle in my hand, so I don't read. Now, I have been going to the library and checking out audiobooks and listening to them in the car. Um, I take my daughter to work with me in the mornings, another perk from the office. Um, Mr. Clemens, uh, he works with you with your family. It's really cool. Anyway, um, so Maddie comes to work with me, and... Uh, on the way to work, we'll listen to it because she likes listening to the audiobooks too. And, and depending on whether it's kosher or not, depending on what I have in there. Um, but as far as like, because then I have to take her to school and then come back to work uh, in the mornings, which is it's, it's a good 45, 50 minute round trip. Um, so I, yeah, that's, that's, that's my book reading. That's what I get in. So whatever I can check out at the library. Uh, right now we're doing some of her Jack and Annie books. Uh, the Magical Treehouse series is what she's uh, into right now. Seven. Loves to read. I think it's amazing. She gets that from her daddy, though. Uh, what is your favorite music? Um, I love almost all Christian pop music, contemporary. Um, that's usually what we listen to. Because then I don't have to worry about what she's going to hear, what kind of message she's going to get. Um, because when she came home from kindergarten, started singing, I'm sexy and I know it, I about flipped out. Um, five-year-olds don't need to know that stuff. So, <laughs> so that's all she gets to listen to. Um, and Disney soundtracks. We do listen to a lot of that. Me personally, I'm into the harder stuff. I enjoy, um, well, like, Chris, there's a Christian band called Skillet, which reminds me a lot of uh, his sound is like Hinder. But I, I'm a Linkin Park, um, Evanescence, uh, but I like Pink. Uh, love Pink. Um, I like a lot of that type of music. I, I'm, I'm kind of like, but I can go back and I can listen to, um, piano music. Yeah, so, a little bit of everything. My, my... 
My favorite music right now is, I have to say, is the, I like the Christian pop or the Christian contemporary, uh, the popular stuff that they're playing now is, I really enjoy it. Um, one word best describes you. Okay. So I couldn't figure it out. I thought bubbly and I thought, no, that doesn't really describe me. Um, confident. And I got that from Miss Brandy, who I work with. I love her to death. She's my mini-me. Um, we're, we, we should have been sisters in another life, and we probably were. Um, but that was, that would be Brandy, yeah. She's confident, so I'm confident. Um, I am who I am. I, I enjoy my life, uh, to the fullest. I always try to find the positive in everything that I do, no matter what knocks me down. And here lately, a lot of things have knocked me down really hard. Uh, but God gives me blessings, and I know it's going to be okay, so I'm uh, confident. Uh, somebody else asked, who inspired you to do YouTube videos? Well, here's the thing. I've been watching YouTube videos for ever since YouTube came out. I always thought it was fascinating, and I always wanted to do it, but I, I'm a bit of a procrastinator sometimes. So, I thought, oh, nobody's going to be interested in what I have to say. So, why bother? And then I started seeing you guys with your cross-stitch stuff coming out. And I started watching more and more people were popping up. And I thought, oh, I've got to get this on here. Um, started watching uh, Jessie Marie Does Stuff. And, um, let's see, The Lovely Array. Um, her encouragement, actually, when... when I saw her video that says, you know, you guys need to come out here and you need to get on YouTube and FlossTube and you need to let us see what you're, you know, let share what you've got. And she was very encouraging, you know, and I said, you know what, I'm going to get my butt out there and I'm going to get something going. So there you go. Um, <laughs> and then you have um, Janet Threadgarden and um, just, just watching these people, it just... It's so heartwarming. Um, and then you have these these people that are getting on there and putting their stuff out there. And you can tell they're really shy and they're really intimidated. And I, I just think it's amazing that they're even able to do this, to get out there. So, so yeah, that's what, that's what got my mojo going. Um, also, um, oh gosh, the names. Stitching May. Um. Yeah, so that, that was an encourager as well. Let's see. Um, uh, and then some of the, the crochet ones that I actually started watching. That's when I wanted to get into it. And then, then I found the cross-stitch people coming out. Because before, all you could find, I saw Bothy Threads. Um, the how-tos. And it's like, well, okay. I know how-to. I don't, I don't, uh, show me something different. Let's see what you got. So then people start putting their whips and their finishes. And, and that's just like, okay, I can do this. So, again, that's how I got started. Um, I guess that's that's it. Uh, well, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave the comments below. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I plan on doing a series of crochet stuff. Um, it'll be in a separate playlist. I'm going to keep my cross stitch and my crochet separate. Um, I'm going to do uh, um, a series of um, 99, I don't know what to call it yet, it's like 99 balls of beer on the wall, but this is going to be 99 granny squares uh, to stitch. And I plan on doing maybe one a week. Um, till I hit 99, so it'll take me two years to do it if, if, if I get the notion going. Um, and then I'm going to do a, uh, a stash. Somebody, a couple people had, um, said they wanted to see what I had in my stash. That is probably going to be broken down into, I'd say, two or three videos. Because I, ooh, I hear dogs outside howling. It's, it's late. Um, but anyway, um, I'm, I'm going to have to break that down probably in two or three videos because I don't want them to be too long and I don't want you guys to get bored. So I'm going to try to leave it at between 10 and 15 minutes. Um, but I have so much that I, I don't know if I'd be able to get it all done. I'm going to try. Um, if not, it may be a two or three parter. 
but anyway so that's all I've got um, like I said leave comments below questions if you have any and um, email me at young40mom.com that's y-o-u-n-g four zero m-o-m at gmail.com um, if you want to private email me or send me a message here um, also to um, I've got a just for fun page on Facebook that I started um, you can in fact you can google young 40 mom and I think it pulls up just about everything uh, between Etsy and Twitter and I'm not on Instagram yet I don't know if I can handle Instagram because I've got so much other stuff going on right now that it is just monopolizing me but anyway okay that's it thanks peace out